bad book reviews, and the trolls that post them. Stay tuned. Hey, I'm Dale L. Roberts, best-selling author, as well as a self-publishing advocate that wants to show you how to publish books that sell. If you want that too, make sure you hit the subscribe and turn the bell notifications on so you don't miss a single one of these videos. Today, ha, oh, is going to be one big old steamy Amazon dumpster fire, and I want you to stick around, but before we do get into things, I want to give a very special thanks to exclusive sponsors here of the channel, Coda B. I'm going to give you some more details about Coda B, but if you want to get a little bit more details ahead of time, head on over to dalelinks.com slash Coda B. That's K-O-T-O-B-E-E. -E. There are a few things in this business that really authors get hung up on, especially self-published authors, and it's typically keywords, marketing and promotion, and reviews. And it's that latter point that I want to kind of hang our hat on today because when people do get those reviews, sometimes they feel, oh man, they feel on top of the world. They get the five-star review, they get the four-star review, and what the heck is this? A freaking one-star review? What, what is this? And of course, they're feeling defeated. And you know, if you're the type of person that you really, you put your value into what other people think about your book, you start to kind of just wonder, you know, when you start to see those one stars or those two stars, like, is this all worth it? And I gotta tell you that sometimes even the best of the best get trolled by some Amazon reviewer. And I'm not just talking about low reviews because you had a couple spelling errors or someone who has a differing point of view. I'm talking about people that are out and out just big so I went ahead I got a hold of my assistant Ava fails and I said Ava I need you to do me a favor I want you to pull me in the cream of the crop the people that are starting the dumpster fires over on Amazon's platform and are clearly not really utilizing the review platform for what it's supposed to be used for and that's for good before we do jump into those things I want to, of course, tell you exactly what I'm looking for. So I want to see verified purchase reviews, meaning that they bought it on the Amazon platform. Verified purchase just indicates that they at least bought it on Amazon. If it is an unverified purchase, meaning that there's no proof that they've bought it whatsoever, that means that someone can just go in willy-nilly, drop a review in there. So it's got to make you kind of question some of these ones that have the unverified purchases. And of course, let's look at the different types of products, be it paperback, hardcover, uh, Kindle ebook. Uh, I didn't find any audiobook ones, but either way, let's go ahead and jump into this one here with Atlas Shrugged by Ayn Rand. The, it, the review is done by JD, which this is a verified purchase review of a paperback, and his title is Not Good. Bought this for my father because he heard of it on South Park episode. Apparently, Officer Bar Brady hated it. My father hated it too. 10 people found this helpful. 10 people found this helpful. Yep, and if you look at the customer avatar for this particular review, you'll see he's a NWO fan, which means that he's a wrestling fan of some sort. Stupid Mark. Next one's Milk and Honey by Rupi Carr. Now, this review is done by Cruelty Free, all one word. It is a verified purchase review of the Kindle edition. And you'll notice that the avatar for this one is a smiley face. Uh, obviously, it's cruelty free, so why wouldn't it have a smiley face? And it actually says for the title, Ghastly Whining and Sobbing. I've read maudlin poetry before and heard a million women complain about being a woman, but this one takes the cake. It's corny, sappy, and makes me ask the question, why don't you drink your milk and close your legs, honey? Yeah. Three people found this helpful. Yeah. But if you scroll down, sometimes there's comments right below these reviews. And this is actually where you can pull out the popcorn and just watch, watch it go. And Debster actually responded, you might try this book of poetry with poems on philosophy, nature, childhood, and love. I invite you to take a gander at this synopsis. Insert the super URL. Use a clean link. Use a clean link. Breathe, Dale. Breathe, breathe. Becoming by Michelle Obama is the next one here. And the reviewer is Sunflower. And this is a hard copy and it is a verified purchase. The title is not worth it. Had to buy as a gift for someone else. Wouldn't purchase otherwise. No period. No punctuation. How about purchasing a period and letting the person you bought it for leave the review instead of you doing it. 81 people found this helpful. 81. Oh, 
Uh, uh. Meglet says this, would you find this review helpful if it was by anyone else about anything else? What makes it not worth it, not worth giving as a gift to your friend? Who forced you to give this particular book? There is rampant abuse of the reviews and ratings system. Yes. Now this is exactly why I'm doing this video is to show the fact that there's people that are clearly abusing the review system and Amazon just turns a blind eye to this. Next one is To Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee. Now this would say classic. I think I actually read this one in school or maybe it was something I was supposed to read and I never did. Either way, uh, I did see the movie as a kid. Mitch K bought the paperback version of this and his title is most boring book in the world, read it if you don't enjoy life. No one found this helpful. Wh what? I mean, gosh, I mean, between the fact that he didn't capitalize the first part of his sentence and he didn't even put any punctuation, ah, oh, man, I would think that this would have thousands and thousands of upvotes saying it's helpful. It's not. Next one's Rich Dad Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki and Joe Green purchased the paperback version of this. And he started out with the title, oh my gosh, we know what we're getting into when he said, a toddler could write this. The principles are solid, but the writing comes across as a special needs doorknob trying to mimic the English language. There's also the fact that the rich dad in the book is a completely fictional character despite scam artist Kiyosaki still claiming that the person was real. There are dozens of better book options today. Three people found this helpful. Next up is Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone by J.K. Rowling. Uh, Gene Brickner actually purchased this through the Kindle edition and starts it out with the title of It's Witchcraft! And she just simply says, It's Witchcraft! Six people found this helpful. Yeah. Bernie Exizi says inside the comments, It's okay to make a funny in your review, but you have 500 words and should complete the review. Your review does make it look that you do not have a classical education. Classical? What? Classical education? Like classical music? Oh, oh, dude. Oh. I, I appreciate and I applaud you for really standing up for this book, but you, you may want to reassess your classical education. Hey, I have a few more reviews that I'm going to share with you, and these ones I saved the best for last. In fact, one where Ellen DeGeneres actually got involved. This one's actually going to blow you away. I wanted to bring back to light, of course, the exclusive sponsor here is the channel Coda B, and it's an award winning interactive ebook authoring tool to help you enrich your ebooks with video, audio, self assessment questions, widgets, galleries, animations, and much more. It's the platform alternative to iBooks Author being available for both Windows and Mac and it allows you to export your ebooks to more than 12 different formats. For more details and to get yourself free access to Codabe, what you got to do is head over to dalelinks.com slash Codabe. That's K-O-T-O-B-E-E, dalelinks.com slash Codabe. Next one up is going to be Where Is My Baby's Belly Button by Karen Katz. Now, I was fairly excited when I discovered the author of this particular review was Pac-Man. I'm a huge fan of Pac-Man. Actually, I grew up playing Pac-Man on the Atari, and heck, I've even had the high score down the road at 16-bit arcade. Uh, you know, Pac-Man, but uh, let's not be confused. It is an unverified review, and it is a board book. Now, a board book is a children's book. It's essentially made of thick board. Uh, these are still very highly in demand. Pac-Man starts it out with, do not buy this book. You can see the ending right on the cover. This book is completely misleading. The entire plot revolves around finding baby's belly button. The title makes this much clearer from the beginning. However, there is no mystery. There is no twist. Baby's belly button is right where it's supposed to be on baby's stomach. 
right where it clearly shows you it is on the cover of the book. This plot is a complete mess as a result of its reliance on the mystery of where the belly button is. Everything falls apart the second you realize that the belly button was in plain sight all along. There's no conflict, there's no character development, and there is scarcely any plot. Whoever wrote this book must have a serious error in judgment because you would have to be an infant to not immediately understand where a baby's belly button is. This is one of the worst pieces of literature I have ever read. 1,044 people found this helpful. Yeah, not verified. Now, if you go into the comments, this, this is where the dumpster fire is just absolutely ablaze. And I came to find out over 50 comments, like it literally just maxed out the number that it would say inside comments, 50 plus comments. I came to find out that actually this particular review was showcased on the Ellen Show with Ellen DeGeneres. So yeah, Ellen went ahead and showcased a troll's review, someone trolling someone's property. And so this just further shows the abuse of the Amazon review system. And I actually scrolled in and I discovered that Pac-Man actually had responded and said, wow, I literally came back to check my review for the first time seven years later and saw this. Thanks for telling me. I'm so psyched I got featured on Ellen. So you posted a trolling review at the expense of the author and now you're happy that you've been made famous. You know, kudos to you, Pac-Man. Next one is Othello by Shakespeare. Now, of course, if you don't know who William Shakespeare is, I, I, I really don't know what to do here for you. But with this one, this is by Amazon customer. Now, everybody else went through the trouble of actually naming themselves on their profile, but this one, no. Show your face, coward. It is the Kindle edition. It is a verified purchase. And they say, me doth not think if I understandeth this tale. Shakespeare was a real cool person for his time. Unfortunately, his plays are not a real cool thing to read for my time. It is English, and I speak English. I just don't happen to speak Old English, which is really ironic because I am old and speaking English. If you read slowly and put your thinking cap on, you will get the gist of what the story is about. Or you can just purchase clip notes, etc. This story is exciting and full of action, I think. 14 people found this helpful. And if you actually scroll down into the comments, you will find the snarky commentary ensues and it's an all out fist fight. I'm out. And last up is Ulysses by James Joyce. Of course, this classic right here is another one I believe I read in school. And this review is actually a verified purchase review for the Kindle edition by B. Eitken and starts it out with, this is a tough book to read unless you understand several languages and are on LSD. I may have 30 or 40 more years to live, so maybe I'll get through it. 17 people found this helpful. Now, if you actually scroll on down into the comments, you'll see more snarkiness ensues. It seems like the crowd that was over on William Shakespeare's work came on over to James Joyce's work. And there's a repeated name in this one, Donald P. Reed. Shut up, Donald. Believe it or not, there are so many other bad book reviews out there. I've covered it before. In this very next video, you actually go down, click on it, have a few laughs with me and enjoy on it. And remember, don't take yourself so seriously. Every now and then you will get a one-star review. And is Amazon on top of it? Maybe not, but they're definitely trying to make it better in due time. In the meantime, I'll see you in the next video.